Hello, it's Wednesday, and no, and I am Fox Savannah in the bathroom. This would be even easier if I could use both hands, but one hand is holding the camera. I'm not. Hey, let me out. No! Ah. <laughs> Capadella! girls, it's Wednesday, which means it's another edition of Wednesdays with Walsh. Woo! We've survived yet another week, which always makes me happy. I made a big list, and look, it's in pink, so it's pretty. Uh, Liz, uh, it makes me sad that you didn't really like uh, the incident, the unusual, the no, the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. Sorry, it's a, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's like, I feel like I give you all these books, and I tell you, oh, it's like my favorite book, you're gonna love it. And then it's just kind of eh. For you. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there are like people out in my hallway like woo! And so I just had to do a weird double take. Okay. Tanya, why are you straightening your weave? Isn't that bad for it? I don't know. I don't know what you black people do. <laughs> Sarah, I have hazel eyes too. Oh, maybe that means that we're related. Like all blue eyed people are related. Why can't hazel eyed people be related too? Oh, Jesus. Ginger! You had a ginger in your video. I don't know why I'm so excited because gingers are the devil, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, Aaron, if you're watching this. I love you. I miss you. <laughs> uh, Kelly, your little dance at the beginning was adorable. Everything you do is adorable. It's not even fair. Uh, the question of the week is, what is your favorite Harry Potter book and movie? Um, my favorite Harry Potter movie is the third one. It has always been the third one, and it probably always will be. It might be because I'm a drama kid, so I look for more than just, you know, enjoying the movie. But I'm looking for the colors of the movie, the scenery, the acting skills, yes. And I think that was like the first movie where the acting was just, it was so good. And the colors of the movie were so dark, but at the same time vibrant. And I just, I love that movie so much because it was more about just the film. It was the artwork of it too. My favorite Harry Potter book will probably have to be the seventh one, but uh, that's mainly because A, I love, well, I love all of the books, but I like that one in particular because it's not action all the way through. And it's not mystery and stuff like that. It's really about them growing up and realizing this is what we have to do. And it shows how they've really matured over the years. And also, it's the last book. I mean, you saw how J.K. Rowling tied everything up. I just, I love the way that everything just summed up so perfectly. Although I still think Harry should have died at the end. It pisses me off that he didn't. Not that I don't like Harry or anything like that. Savannah. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, when I told her that the challenge of the week was we had to show something pretty, and she was like, why don't you show me? And so I had no other idea, so I was like, yeah, sure. Hey. To do what? Keeping bubbles away from the TV, I got it. Okay, <laughs> good job. My high of the week is, I want to show you this. So proud. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, you see that little score right there? The little letter next to it? Yeah, that's a 95 and an A. This is my English paper, and I got 95 on it. Energetic and original language is excellent. Especially effective was the detailed anecdote of your elementary school gym class at the beginning. Your specificity and attention to detail are not only fun and funny, but they hook the reader right out of the gate. We're interested and we're in your world and we're more willing to follow you. Keep this up. It's engaging and effective. And that goes on for two more paragraphs. Oh, good lord! And it goes on for two more paragraphs. Yeah. The low of the week is that my cork board fell. It looks so sad. It was originally up there next to my other paper, but... I know why it fell. Oh my god, shut up. I haven't explained that yet. Yeah, so it fell, and Leo looks really, really sad. I don't know if Leonardo DiCaprio can look sad in a picture of him, but, I mean, it's Inception. He's basically sad all throughout Inception. Okay, um, I'm adding a, not just a high and a low from this week, but I'm also adding my most awkward moment of the week. Awkward mustache. <laughs> it would be more effective if you actually had a mustache when you did that. 
I was really not in a good mood yesterday, and neither was Alex, really. So, uh, when he was done with classes for the day, and when I was done with classes for the day, too, uh, I was in my room, and he came here after his class ended at, like, 6.15 or something like that. And so we were up on my bed, and I was catching up on Gossip Girl. Well, anyway, Brianna and Savannah come in. Then they go into the bathroom or whatever, and they're like, well, you two better behave, or well, we're out tonight and stuff like that. So then Alex and I... We start thumping on the walls, like pounding on them, making sex noises, and like, oh yeah, baby, keep doing it, oh yeah, so close, so close. And it was really loud and over the top. And <laughs> Brianna and Savvy were like, you know, everybody can probably hear you. And we were like, yeah, probably. So we just continued doing it. And then just at that moment, our other roommate, Kara, walked in with, uh, with uh, one of her friends, and she was just like, um... Okay. <laughs> we all just started laughing hilariously because normally our room is like the quiet one on the hall. <laughs> so he parties like every Thursday. And so he was a little out of it. He like didn't even remember. But he, um, yeah, he like got to math class the next day and I was like, hey, what'd you do last night? He's like, I don't. I don't really remember. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's it for this week. And I know this video is also pretty long. I'm going to have to edit a lot of it out. But um, I love you all terribly. And I, well, I, no, I love you all dearly. And I miss you all terribly. That's what I meant to say. And I will see you all next week. And Lizzie Busy, I will see you tomorrow.